I am Mr. Narsana Kopula from India. I am representing here uh, Aranya Agricultural Alternatives. So Aranya means the forest. So we have been working since uh, uh, last 25 years with permaculture activities and I have been uh, since last almost 20 years in this field by working with the community and uh, even agencies and non-governmental organizations. Mm -hmm. So this I am uh, working in the southern part of southern part of uh, uh, India, mm -hmm. where I am working with the thousand families, mm -hmm. where these people are totally tribal community. Mm -hmm. They do not have any land. Mm -hmm. Whatever the land it is there, that is unproductive mm -hmm. because the total land has been uh, taken away from non-local people. Mm -hmm. There we have a plan to work with them on livelihoods. Mm -hmm. Slowly, whatever the pieces of land they have, we mm -hmm. wanted to develop the mm -hmm. agroforestry mm -hmm. on their own lands and to look after their children at the same time livelihoods of those community. Mm -hmm. So, while doing this, thousands of people, thousands of farmers have come to us and they were asking, they were wanted to know what are the practices in permaculture, mm -hmm. what to do, how to do. In this context, we have conducted so many trainings and permaculture practices mm -hmm. on based on the local conditions. Mm -hmm. In this meanwhile, the other government agencies and non-government agencies also, they have come forward to help us to work with like NABARD, mm -hmm. which is a, a, a bank, which is a bank. They are ready to fund us to work with the tribal community, mm -hmm. around thousand families. Wow. I think it is a it is an area where I am working on mm -hmm. um, tree based farming. Yes. I think it is a very very good sign of mm -hmm. permaculture practices. Mm -hmm. We I can take this concept in the mainstream yes. while working with these thousand families. Mm -hmm. Even I can give the message of what is permaculture. Need not to talk about the permaculture. While doing, we can learn what is permaculture. Mm -hmm. That is the approach I have taken in those areas. Mm -hmm where I am created a lot of a, a, a greenery environment among the people mm -hmm. where they are working mm -hmm. very closely good community uh, uh, harmony has been created to work with nature not against the nature mm -hmm. that is a message we wanted to give in the first step mm -hmm. at the second step what with is a care of people the first principle as per the permaculture is concerned care, take care of land care, take care of earth and then take care of people this people is concerned where I am working, this tribal community and the rain-fed agriculture farmers, mm -hmm. they don't have sufficient uh, food, mm -hmm. even not today per meal. Mm -hmm. I think they are very, very malnutrition, undernutrition. They are not even get proper nutritious food. Earlier, they used to get entire product from forest. Mm -hmm. Now, forest has been almost all cut. They are filling mm -hmm. and their multinational companies and all the corporations have entered for mining mm -hmm. that mining is almost all devastated entire area mm -hmm. now they are migrating cities mm -hmm. that is how the people are looking for some alternative mm -hmm. at that time we entered into that area mm -hmm. what we are talking about this permaculture it is not solution for everything but mm -hmm. it is one of the alternative mm -hmm. you can take up you have to work with the nature mm -hmm. and you have to grow your own thing you need mm -hmm. not to depend on somebody mm -hmm. or need not to depend on external inputs mm -hmm. you can depend on your local markets mm -hmm. and you can depend on your own things you can grow and take healthy food mm -hmm. if the healthy food is there your healthy healthy people human beings will be there at the same time that will that chain will continue so that we can create a new life of this mm -hmm. is a, the, the, uh, this on this planet earth mm -hmm. that's called this is a, this is a permaculture is a, a way of life mm -hmm. your lifestyle mm -hmm. has to be changed mm -hmm. you have to take resources into in your control mm -hmm. you have to work with nature mm -hmm. you have to not uh, not for competition mm -hmm. for 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 cooperation mm -hmm. that is what we are talking to the people then most of the people they are coming forward mm -hmm. they are taking up to entire resources into their hands mm -hmm. the total control of the resources mm -hmm. and they are working with the nature not against mm -hmm. in this process of works mm -hmm. and so many people so many uh, theories so many practices are coming up and i think it's a, it's a great achievement of permaculture in the southern part of India where we are working and it has to go long, long way to uh, uh, get into the all mainstream of even government people and in government departments also take up some of this mm -hmm. for the future generation, mm -hmm. for future uh, of our planet Earth. Mm -hmm. So that is what the Aranya is struggling and Aranya is working towards uh, uh, is a greenery and uh, that's why my slogan is forest is future mm -hmm. without forest there is no future mm -hmm. because forest means not a huge trees and big 
tall trees it is a greenery you have to increase greenery mm. every every life has been depend on the greenery mm. without green green eating nothing can be happen on this planet earth this is the only planet where all life forms can survive if you leave this planet i can you can't survive anywhere on this world mm. so that is the message we wanted to reach the you grow greenery you grow your own food don't depend on 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 uh, on a external on uh, any somebody on uh, the the uh, others which uh, they are providing and they are giving is a totally polluted but you can grow your unpolluted food you keep healthy and you keep others also healthy mm. that is the message we are giving through our work mm -hmm. the part of this projects we have totally all natural resource management like restoration of tanks there are small water bodies are there that totally has been polluted that we are conserving the natural resources part of that we are asking them to don't pollute the water don't pollute the soil don't pollute the air mm. this is the slogans we are taking into people they are cooperating us with their help of their uh, cooperation today we are able to take up all natural resources all natural body water bodies and your natural uh, way of life living with the nature living with the uh, healthy soil healthy plants and healthy people that is what the message we are spreading over entire that uh, area the people are ready to take up their resources into their control and the slowly this message will spreading over entire that region that will help a, a future generation not for us but for others it will contribute it will help them to be a human kind to survive to serve the other human kind also that is the reason where we are working for the aranya agriculture alternatives is is meant for the greenery that is my slogan is forest is future future is going to be forest without human kind human human beings the already tree was there the plant kingdom and the animal and people this is a companion this is the combination of the three living beings on this planet can uh, earth can be ecological balance whatever you say or ecological imbalance whatever these three components should be on this planet earth then only we can survive with a harmony and with nature so how, that's it thank you how are you finding climate forum and do you think the climate forum has been a helpful process to be involved with i think this climate forum all these years we are talking about and we are uh, listening since last so many years even in permaculture it's an uh, i attended in australia uh, permaculture sixth conference at that time people were talking about climate climate change i thought i thought why these people are talking about climate change and at the it's a 15 years back permaculture has a clear vision what's going to happen with this nature what's mm. going to be mm. happen to this planet mm. but i have not realized as far as indian conditions concern we are not even realized what is happening with the, mm. the climate change mm. the climate change is help us definitely you are already most of the developed countries have been suffering a lot already mm. suffered mm. but we are in it is it, it is a i i almost it is a is a, a realization with this climate change we will be careful about the things what is happening we should not allow to do that and we are bring awareness among the people mm. the climate change brings lot of sadnesses mm. and sorrows to fight it just don't talk you have to do and you mm. have to plant the trees mm. and you have to take care of your resource into your control don't pollute and you have to cut down all the consumerism what are the ways you are doing today mm. it is not good for health mm. not for this planet earth mm. that is how it's helped me a lot and i will go and i'll take it as a challenge to mm. work with people mm. and the communities and i will i i'll take my uh, responsibility to spread this concept i think this conference particularly helped me a lot looking at the various so many countries now 90 to 1 200 countries are participating everybody is talking about climate change mm. it will helping me a lot to take this how how do people get in contact with you and help your project yeah i i i'm i will first i should thank uh, thanks to tony anderson mm. actually he is a person when i he, we he visited my, my project in 1992 to india i think at that time he was uh, with us for 3 days he went around all the places he met the so many people mm. and while talking to these i think these we find very interesting things where we have growing small pieces of mm. land and small uh, small holdings and some mm. vegetables were growing he was so attracted to that and he was saying why can't you spread this concept because mm. it is a tropical country your mm. seeds and your vegetables and your crops are very 
uh, very useful for the poor people because uh, in a uh, country like India, uh, needy for food, I think they have to get a good nutritious food so that you have to increase this work and you have to go for millions of people, not just one patch. That is the reason the uh, I met um, uh, Tony Anderson 1992. After again, I met him in a Brazil in a 2008 conference. Mm. This is uh, IPC 8 at Brazil, mm -hmm. and then the in that contact, he was talking to so many people. I was there also, and most of the time, he was talking to the each uh, each one of us. And is what is happening in the other country like India, and what's the changes, how you are affecting, and that is the inspiration given by uh, Tony Anderson. That's how I'm in touch with him.